and now the end is near and so we face our final race so it's a two mile six furlong it's the Aintree Hunters Chase is the final race of the season here on the National Hunt. So number one is Poppy Elisi for Martin Liedem, Kill Archie Adventure for James Shays. Number two, Bella de la Mera for Axe Cherries. Three, Fathom. Five, Orion Costello is four. Glenna Sheehan Parks for James Shays. Five, Mrs. Dorf for Kevin Minihan is six. Ascoli for Martin Liedem is seven. Hollywood Queen for Derek Hinton is eight. Petrocelli Mera for Thomas Rogers is nine. Anglo Saxon for Paul Rose along with Cleopatra, ten and eleven. LB Pius for Tom Rogers is twelve. Lombar Blaze for Orion Costello is thirteen. And Silver Bullet for Alex Cherry is fourteen. Again, over the Grand National Fences here. It's our final hunter chase. The King of the Hunter trophy. Martin will be receiving at the end of this one. He can't be caught. And he's got eight wins so far. Could he make it nine? The start has got him away. And as we wait for it to settle down, it's Ballard Delamere. Along with Poppy Elise, leads him into the first of 18. We all take it well. Yeah, the man that just noses in front, although Poppy at least is going to come up on the long side. Silver bullet a little bit wider. Shot from the grandstand. Oh, and we're back. And it's Ballard Della now. And Poppy at least it leads him over the second. And we'll take it well. Slow jump at the rear by Albi Pius. But plenty of racing still to have he had. And it's Poppy at least that's going to lead them into the next room. Ballard Della now has taken a bit of a keen hold. And Silver bullet on his outside. And a couple back to Cleopatra, the first of the Paul Rhodes horses. And we'll get over the third. This is Dorf again, and Minihan up against the fence. Orange Cat, Green Silks. That widest of all is a Kilachi Adventure as they go over the water. So it's Poppy Elysian Silver Bullet, followed through by Ballad Della Mare, and a couple of links back to Glenishian Parks, Mrs. Dorf, and Kilachi Adventure. Between those is Cleopatra. Up against the fence is Fathom Five, and Hollywood Queen for Del Hinton. A Scully for Martin Lee, and the Orange Silks, and then followed through by Paul, Paul Rhodes, Rhodes Anglo Saxon. And then just a the three at the real Elby Pius, Lompomar Blaze, and Petrocelli Maria. So as we come down to the final two miles, it's Poppy Elisi from Silver Bullet and Ballard de la Mer. And a couple of links back to Kalachi Adventures, moved into fourth on his own. And this is Doyle on his inside. As we approach the next, the fifth, the leaders are over it. All a bit of slow jumps, but they're all still on there. Oh, we lost one. Fathom Five's gone there. Fell at the fifth. The name told us something, gave us a clue. But up front, as they've gone through six now, is Poppy Elisi by a couple of links to Silver Bullet and Ballad Della Mare. And then we've got Kalachi Adventure and Mrs. Doyle. Let's go get a little bit wide of Cleopatra and Glenishy and Parks. They go to the seventh, a couple of stickier jumps. Dropping back through the pack, then we've got Lompomar Blade, and inside of that is Hollywood Clean, Queen, sorry, and Anglo Saxon is outside. And we'll get over that one as well. So we're through eight. We just lost the one you know, over these grand national fences. A mile and a half still to go. It's Poppy Elise from Balladella Mare and Silver Bullet. And they get to the ninth. The leaders are over it. Oh, we lost another one there. And it's a Scully for Martin Eden that's gone this time. And one down. He's still got his Poppy Elise. He's leading at the moment. So it's Poppy Elise from Balladella Mare and Silver Bullet as they get to the chair. And they're all over that one. Better jump in. Kalachi Adventure and Mrs. Doll, and then a couple of links back to Lompomar Blades and Anglo Saxon. They're followed through by, oh sorry, Glenn Sheehan. Oh, we lost another one there. This time it's Mrs. Doyle that's gone for Kevin Meenan. Unlucky Mrs. Doyle. I can't do her accent, <coughs> but she's a fool up. She should go and make a cup of tea. Would you like a cup of tea? I think it's that Mrs. Doyle. They go over the 12th on the canal turn, and the leader, Poppy Elise, took a nasty stride out. And we're getting one pulled up here as well. It's Cleopatra, a rare pull up. And the start is all a seven, which makes up for a, an over rare. Oh, and then we lost another there. And Glenna Sheehan Parks has gone this time as, a, as everyone starts to get a little bit tired as we come inside the final mark. But it's still Poppy Elise, although joined by Kalachi Adventure as they go over the 14th. Between those is Ballad Delamere and Silver Bullet a little bit wider. And we've got Lompomar Blaze up against the fence, followed through by Hollywood Queen, Anglo Saxon, Petrocelli Mella, and LB Pius. So as they all go over the 15th, there's only three left to jump, and it's Kalachi Adventure and Poppy Elise. Ballad Delamere and Silver Bullet sitting pretty. So Poppy Elise heads for home first inside the six, gets over the 16th, so we've only got two left to 
jump. They're all still on their feet, the ones that are standing. So it's Poppy Elise pulling away from Kalachi Adventure. Then we've got Ballad de la Mare and Silver Bullet. Lompomar Blaze, Anglo Saxon, Hollywood Queen, LB Pius, and Petrocelli Mare have got a lot to do. Inside the final five, it's Poppy Elise, Martin Leadham, hoping to take the King of the Hunter by winning the last race of the season with the Aintree Hunters chasing the bag. But it's Poppy Elise by a couple to Kalachi Adventure, Ballad de la Mare, Silver Bullet, Anglo Saxon, and Hollywood Clean are all in a long line now as we come inside the final half mile. And it's still Poppy Elise by a good couple of lengths to Kalachi Adventure. And just two to jump. It's Poppy Elise approaching the penultimate. Gets over it well, gets away from it. A slow jump by second place Kalachi Adventure. So it's Poppy Elise. Here comes Ballad de la Mare. Can Poppy Elise, has she gone off too soon? He may well have done as they're all coming to run him down now. Kalachi Adventure, Petrocelli Mary is running really well. But it's Poppy Elise still hanging on as we come inside the quarter. Slow over it and Petrocelli Mary the great big jump and Petrocelli Maria jumps himself into a two length advantage we're inside the final furlong and a half but it's Petrocelli Maria here comes Silver Bullet Hollywood Queen running on Anglo-Saxon but it's Petrocelli Maria inside the final furlong on the inside Silver Bullet on the outside Hollywood Queen and Atlas Anglo-Saxon is Hollywood Queen that just knows is inside the final half a furlong from Anglo-Saxon on his outside Silver Bullet on his inside and it's going to be a win for Hollywood Queen Hollywood Queen takes the last race of the season the entry hunters chase goes to Del Hinton couldn't have gone to a better person to win the last race of the National Hunt. I hope you all enjoyed this. A great win there. Hollywood Queen takes it from running on well Anglo-Saxon Silver Bullet was the poor old uh, that was Petrocelli Merrier just gave up in the final half of Furlong. Was leading over the last. But it's a great win for Del Hinton. Well done with Hollywood Queen. Second was Anglo-Saxon for Paul Rhodes. Silver Bullet for X Cherry was third. Petrocelli Mary for Thomas Rogers was fourth. And Kalachi Adventure for James Shear was fifth. Well, that's it. It's all over. Martin takes the King of the Hunter with a total of eight wins from Daniel French in second. It's a goodbye from all of us, the team here at Starter's Orders. And we'll see you probably in a couple of months for season two.